सो हेलो एवरीबडी एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड आज के इस वीडियो में वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट वेरियस फार्मेसी कॉम्पिटिटिव एग्जामिनेशन दैट यू हैव टू गिव इन ऑर्डर टू स्टडी अब्रॉड सो जब हम बात करते हैं टू स्टडी अब्रॉड देर आर लॉट ऑफ एडवांटेजेस वैकेंसीज निकलती है काफ़ी रिस्पेक्ट ज़्यादा है देर आर लॉट ऑफ गुड मनी गुड सैलरी टू स्टडी अब्रॉड राइट एंड also to work as a pharmacy as a pharmacy technician or anything specialist as a pharmacy so to study abroad there are a lot of eligibility criteria a lot of different documentations that you need but in this video we'll be discussing about the different examinations to agar aap koi different country mein ja rahe definitely you need to crack certain examinations because there are different countries of different kinds of protocols different kinds of examinations different kinds of pattern so we will be discussing few of them today so the first exam is cats that is for australia then dha exam so dha hard uh, at spli that is saudi pharmacist licensing examination these are all examination this is dubai health uh, association examination these are for the at hard is for abu dhabi they are for all gulf countries all the countries that are like dubai saudi arabia all those countries right then ministry of health moh examinations then you have naplex fpg double e so these you have for new zealand for australia like for usa then you have pebc for canada then psi pharmacy equivalence exam tcqr and tre examination for ireland so we will be discussing about different examinations that on what are the things that are asked what is the exam pattern and all so when we talk about the different gulf countries so sple is for gulf countries dh is for saudi arabia mha is again for ministry of health and association for uh, MOH is for uh, South Dubai and Saudi Arabia. Then you have HAG for Abu Dhabi. Then CAPS for Australia. Then you have TCQR um, and that PSI equivalence examination for Ireland. So in this you have OSCEs as well. So there are two types of OSCEs: verbal and written. So you need to be like these are clinical cases, live examples of clinical investigation. So when you talk about that when you want to study abroad. so they don't check your knowledge of pharmaceutical jurisprudence pharmaceutics chemistry ecology they want to check how applicative your mind is that if you come across a case of drug interactions or any contra or contraindications like suppose warfarin aspirin given together suppose if it's probenecid penicillin right suppose if it's any antacids along with the tetracyclines or if it's calcium supplements with iron supplements they want to see that how vigilant you are and how much depth is your knowledge uh, the, uh, how much uh, your knowledge is in depth in order to uh, prescribe uh, in order to see that prescription counsel the patient because patient counseling it plays a very vital role when we talk about abroad right so that is one of the vital things that you need to know then we have naplex examinations for usa then for fgp fpge foreign pharmacy graduate equivalence exam then we have caop for new zealand competence assessment overseas pharmacist then you have pebc pharmacy examination board of canada so when i talk about then there's another examination for pcat right so pcat is basically for usa united states of america so there you have different biological processes you need to know about the anatomy pathophysiology <coughs> you need to know about the different chemistry point of view organic chemistry basic chemistry biochemistry then they need uh, they evaluate your critical thinking skills so your scientific passages they give you they then they ask you questions from the passages then they give you scientific arguments this is another specific peculiarity scientific arguments and all so you need your ability to analyze from those arguments you need to check qualitative and quantitative aptitude reasoning verbal ability all these are also asked as so that concurrent writing and all you get used to that then there's ucat which is united kingdom clinical aptitude test ucat so in ucat also basically the same thing decision making skills that if there are any particular contraindications or any particular drug interactions synergistic if it's it's okay if it's synergistic or the dose or the dosage or the pre patient history because when we talk about patient counseling it involves retrospective patient history analysis the current patient review and all so all those things we check so you are basically situational judgment that how do you react in that particular situation what is your step that you'll be taking then there is bmat a uh, biomedical admission test for again united kingdom only then we have mcat for uh, canada 
that is also analyzing your the skills all of the skills like general what general logical reasoning verbal ability or pharmaceutical knowledge so basically when we talk about any examination which is of foreign what all things you should be strong with or aisi kaisi cheez hai jo aapko definitely acche se aani chahiye in order to crack that examination obviously your english speaking skills and your communication skills because most of the examinations that are in foreign require a language proficiency test lft language proficiency test so lpt which is toefl gre ielts toefl gre and ielts so there is a band score or the particular score 7 6 7 band score about that only your application is accepted so your english and communication skills should be good so that and that is proven by the language proficiency test then your basic biomedical and general sciences right your skills in biomedical and general sciences should be good enough then your skills in clinical sciences should be good like pharmacotherapeutics pharmacology right so it is a combination of pharmacotherapeutics and pharmacology then your skills in pharmaceutics and pharmaceutical calculation so for those dosage sometimes you know you need to compound and dispense as well so the dosage form the calculations is very very important so these are very important aspects when we talk about and besides this your data interpretation so they give you scientific data they give you scientific information and then they ask you about that but basically uh, and then small parts of minor subjects like biochemistry and microbiology and anatomy biochemistry microbiology and anatomy you need to have a well versed hold upon all of these subjects because you know if the more you familiarize the more you get acquainted to all of these topics it's good for you obviously aapki knowledge badhi rahi hai koi nuksan to hai nahi padhna to hai hi aapko is so all these is a very good amalgamation so it's going to definitely help you out right and uh, when i talk about certain examinations like hard moh dha they are very good examinations so आप कहाँ से पढ़े फ्रॉम वेयर टू स्टडी दर इज अ वेरी गुड प्लेटफॉर्म कॉल्ड अकेडमिकली सो अकेडमिकली प्रोवाइड कोर्सेज एंड प्रिपेयर यू फॉर ऑल ऑफ दिस एग्जामिनेशन सो डेफिनेटली कॉन्टैक्ट दी टीम फॉर अकेडमिकली एंड दे प्रोवाइड अ वेरी कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव कोर्स मतलब मॉक टेस्ट देन दे हैव रिकॉल क्वेश्चन रिकॉल मीन्स द क्वेश्चन दैट कम फ्रॉम द पास्ट दोज आर कॉल्ड एज रिकॉल क्वेश्चन दे प्रोवाइड दोज क्वेश्चन एज वेल सो दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड दे प्रोवाइड लाइव लेक्चर्स रिकॉर्डेड लेक्चर्स एज वेल फॉर द सेम so it is very very important to have an information about live and recorded lectures so there is a pro metric exam and we talk about schfs that is sple and all saudi commission for health sciences there is pro metric center so you get centers in metropolitan cities for some examinations like uh, mumbai and if you are from india so mumbai new delhi chennai kolkata and all the metropolitan cities coap also has a similar stuff so basically kul mila ke aapki english achhi honi chahiye आपकी बेसिक्स अच्छे हो जाए बेसिक जनरल साइंस लाइफ साइंस मॉड बायोकेमिस्ट्री माइक्रोबायोलॉजी एनाटॉमी सूटिक्स प्रॉपर होना चाहिए फार्माकोथेरापियोटिक्स आपको ड्रग इंटरेक्शन कॉन्ट्रा इंडिकेशन के बारे में पता होना चाहिए ड्रग ऑफ चॉइसिस के बारे में पता होना चाहिए दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो एंड देन आपका एनालिटिकल स्किल्स डिसीजन मेकिंग स्किल्स सिचुएशन स्किल्स एनालाइज होती है दे गिव यू एन पर्टिकुलर एग्जाम्पल अ पैसेज वो लोग लाइव केसेज देते हैं दे गिव यू केस स्टडीज they give a certain data interpretations from that you have to give then for situation studies and all so yahi sab aata hai pucha jata hai uh, i hope that ye video aapke liye kafi beneficial raha especially for those who want to pursue their career then few pharmaceutical laws like regulatory bodies agencies ke bare mein you should be knowing ethics so i hope ki very video ne kafi sada information aapko provide kari hogi i will be coming up with more videos as well so please like share subscribe zarur kariye ga is video ko so that i can get more reach and it can i can keep me you know it gives me a um, kick so that main aur acche se videos bana saku aise hi pyar karte rahiye and do like share subscribe my channel for more such upcoming vlogs